Alrighty. As promised, I'm going to do a live workout. Eventually I'll get to different body parts, but right now I'm going to do legs and search your lunges. <sighs> I'm drinking some milk right now. Okay. than squats. I kind of stopped seeing improvements with squats. Why well, I could go over 400 pounds. Of course, I did gain body weight too, so probably has something to do with it. I mean, I had like a 400 pound max squat when I was like 15 and I weighed like 140. My box jump was 48 inches. Uh, but then I had like a 630 squat, I mean 18, and my box jump, I could do 48 inches easily. So. <clears throat> oh. And then right above the tail. going kind of heavy on this a couple months back and I like strained my leg my thigh and then I tried again it took about two weeks to recover strain my thigh again so I was jumping up too quickly I guess and over a year ago, a year and a half ago, I did 400 on uh, a search for lunch. I was pretty happy about. I think it's my greatest fee of leg strength. So, cut through to give me an idea. kind of tight from being in big stilted boots all day. My ankle is. So. That's good. are not as strong as they used to be. Um, maybe like 80% right about around that range. But yeah, right here it's all tight. I just kind of jump, jump into it. Okay. It's 50. It's a bigger bar than normal. So... I guess I'll just throw, pick my nose and throw on some 25s and work from there. So we'll have 100 pounds. I think recording too kind of keeps me a bit more motivated and more on top of it. So I don't, uh, like stop for a couple minutes to look at my phone or stuff like that. Oh boy, this is going to be a long video. 
longer than I would have expected. <clears throat> so I have my milk over here. I would drink water, but I don't have any bottled water right now. The milk will do just fine. Some more protein in. <clears throat> yeah, as I go up in weight, I decrease the reps. Kind of standard. Unless I'm going to do like some challenge, but no challenges today. Today it's just kind of doing the work and body getting a little bit used to this movement. It's about what it is. Yeah, my right foot at top, it does kind of affect the left side a bit more. I guess it's a sore, I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. So, it's kind of making it even harder on my left foot. Yeah, I usually don't do full, full perfect reps, but that's just what I like doing. I don't have a reason, I don't have an argument. I just prefer doing those three quarter reps. So, just preference. Biggest jump, a 60 pound jump. I would like to have 150, but I do not have my five pound weights. <laughs> yeah, I just got off work too, so. <laughs> It's not like my strength is peak right now anyways. So typically that'll be if I have some pre-workout in my system. The night of my day off work. Cause like, I get off, I work nights. So when I get off, it's daytime. So, yeah, pretty much like, for example, Today, what is today, Tuesday? No, it's Wednesday. So, for example, today, if I get off, which I could get off work, if I was to go to bed instead of working out right now, and I woke up, and then tonight, Wednesday night, I'd probably be, it took pre-workout on top of a good night rest, yeah, I would, I'd be peaked. Like, I'm much stronger. Typically, me with a good night rest, with pre-workout, we'll throw on 40 pounds. It'll add about a solid 10% to my strength pre-workout and a good night rest. <clears throat> I, I've actually tested that fairly recently, how strong I am getting off work. Feeling all right, I feel all right right now. Versus good night rest, pre-workout. It's a 10% difference. <laughs> it really is. So let's say this is my max, 160. Like if I felt good, I could be doing like 180, 190. So. Oh. Right 
right now I'm trying to work on speed. I, I don't know. I want it to feel light. I want it to feel light. Oh. Yeah, I think today, let's see what I can do. Yesterday I did some ab work. And, uh, uh, today I might do some more. This depends how things go. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, left leg. Maybe like five or so. Yeah, when I think back, I'm like, boy, I can't believe I did 400 on that. No freaking way. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I get all crampy after work. Right now, my quads are kind of cramping up a bit around my knees. It's all, it's all good though. All right. Thinking what to put on next. I think I'll put on a 35 and a 210 on there. I don't know. It's about really only option. Go 190 or 210. 210's a good jump. I think that's what I worked up to like last time. It was like 205, I think. difficult range. Um, I want to take a bit longer rest period here. After this set will be my final set. So for grand total of 50, 160, 210, for the, yeah, five sets for this exercise. Now I'll do something else. <laughs> Might record more exercises, don't know. Uh, you will see. Uh. I'll be uploading them while I'm do like doing the next one. This video will take like two hours to upload though, I don't know. Yeah, I don't time myself. Maybe on certain circuits or like CrossFit type circuits, I would, but not on this stuff. <clears throat> Just go off when I feel ready. Ow, milk on my knee. <laughs> <clears throat> I got one bag of trash in here. I gotta take out to the trash. It might be two, I'm not sure. So I'll I'll do that after the set. After I get weight set up.
This will actually be my final set for my left leg. My left leg is so far behind, whatever way I do my right leg, stay the set back. So, like whenever I did 400, I think my left leg PR was like 345 or 365, I forgot. One of those two. Trust me, I'm nowhere near 400 right now. <laughs> I was training that every week. So I'm going to try to do now. I want to build up to a similar level of strength. Okay. Moving right back. Let me take this bag of trash out. Oh, shit. I'm back for one final set. So I'm going to go for <laughs> the louder you grunt, the more you lift. See if you're just like this, just. Versus a, ah, ah. see, it makes you stronger. Way <laughs> <clears throat> over. Now I have to do two fifty. Final set. Yeah, I was like the only person in the world doing search challenges. Like, I've been doing them for for years. I didn't really think anything of it. I just started recording. I was like, what? 
Why are we maxed out at this? <sighs> and then I maxed out and I was like, well, let's get better at it and see where things go. <clears throat> That's not what happened. I always get a bit of anxiety before the final set, sometimes even sets before that, and to think I've done 150 pounds more. And I have a video of me doing like 230 and it just, you could literally not even see weights on the bar and think the bar is weightless by how fast I moved it up, it's crazy. <clears throat> We'll see. I used to set numbers and goals in my head when I was newer, but after a couple injuries here and there, I've kind of changed that. Now, I just, I don't want my legs to get strong like they were, <sighs> but I don't want to get injured like I was getting injured. So, I've kind of changed things a bit. <clears throat> Boy. <clears throat> Catch my breath for a second. Um yeah, I like search challenges. <laughs> and uh since I have scoliosis, curvature of the spine, it doesn't feel right to have weight on my back. It never has. Even though the squat was my best lift for the longest time. But yeah, it just never felt right. <clears throat> so, I mean, my best raw squat was 650. And competition, 630. I was 18, I had 650 later on that year. Um, and I didn't even know I had scoliosis. I had suspicion, but the parents told me no. Kind of makes me wonder. I, I had good leverages for the squat, short legs. I mean, my whenever I whenever I weighed like two thirty, my pants size forty two, twenty six. That's my leg length, a twenty six pants. Right now, I'm like a I wear like thirty twos or thirty fours. Leg length is still same twenty six. Just just to give you an idea, I, I got good squat leverages. Uh, I'm medium on the pulling leverages. My wingspan, while my arms are so small, my wingspan is a, uh, like I'm five foot four, 64 inches. My wingspan's like 67, like three inches more, which probably has a little something to do with my arms being a little smaller. So the most guys my size. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I kind of think well, if I didn't have scoliosis, how much could I have squatted? How much did it hurt me? I know it didn't help me. <laughs> but, yeah, well, maybe it could be extra, up to extra 50 pounds, who knows? I had a lot more in me, too. I just stopped. Well, that's all for today on the Becoming, or all for right now. I might record more later on or so, but... Yeah, it's this vlog, day four, becoming better. I like doing legs. Doing leg workouts makes you stronger, I don't know who's that, but a stronger organism. Doing squats. Um, yeah, I'm, 
I'm not doing going super intense as you can tell. I barely broke a sweat. I got a lot more to go. But um yeah, I mean you wanna do some sort of leg exercise standing with weights, not not on a machine or cables or something. Those have their own advantages, but to actually become a stronger person as a whole, you wanna be able to like walk up to this and just big heavy weight. Don't push yourself too hard though, don't get hurt. <clears throat> but yeah, if you work up to a weight like that, obviously I can do a lot more. But did I get hurt? No. That your normal person would gain strength by doing that. I probably won't gain strength and just kind of maintaining. But yeah, that's all for today. Where I make this video too long.